Assalamu alaikum and welcome everyone. Extracting iron is really important process in the industry and also a really important topic to study. In this video, I'm going to focus on a basic reaction involved in a blast furnace. So let's go. First of all, guys, here we have this is the chemical reactivity series. So I think everyone knows that metals above carbon they are more reactive than carbon. So they can to be extracted by using carbon or in other words carbon can't be used to replace any one of these metals in their ocean because they are more reactive than carbon so instead we can use electrolysis but for metals below carbon actually they are less reactive than carbon and because iron is our subject today so it means carbon can replace iron in its ocean or carbon can be used to extract iron from its source. Carbon will be used as a reducing agent, or instead, we're going to use carbon monoxide. This is because it's much stronger than carbon as a reducing agent. So the chemical basis for extracting iron is to use carbon monoxide as a reducing agent to extract iron from its source. Now let's check the blast furnace itself. Actually, it's an open shape like a chimney. The top area in the furnace, this is a place where we can add the raw material, where you can say the charge. That one, we have blast of the hot air to start the combustion. And then we have here two openings, the one for the molten produced iron and one for something called this clag, which is the impurities. And here we have also two exits for the waste gases so this is an overall or like an overview for the blast furnace now let's check everything in more details first of all here we have this is the top of the furnace as i said here we have this is the raw material or you could say the charge of the blast furnace so the charge is a mixture of these three raw materials Number one, here we have iron ore or hematite, iron three oxides, Sp2O3. Of course, iron ore will be the source for iron. So this source contains iron ore Fe. Limestone or calcium carbonate CaCO3. This raw material is used in order to get rid of the uh, impurities. And by the way, the basic impurity here and the iron ore or like hematite is sand or you could say silicon dioxide so we use limestone in order to remove sand or silicon dioxide finally here we have coke, coal or you could say carbon normally this is our using agent which will be changed into carbon monoxide through the reactions and then once the charge is added here to the top of the furnace the reaction starts between coke and here hot air oxygen to reduce carbon dioxide gas. Remember, here within the furnace, the temperature is really, really hot. So, carbon dioxide actually will react again with coke. So, carbon coke plus carbon dioxide in order to produce carbon monoxide gas, which is the reducing agent here. And then, Carbon monoxide will react with the iron or hematite Fe2O3 to produce molten iron down. So here we have because molten iron more dense, so it goes down quickly here and it can be extracted through this exit. And of course, we have a lighter layer of impurities up cool the slag, so it can be extracted from this uh, exit. Now we can check the reactions one by one. So the first step, the blast of hot air restarts the coke turning to get carbon dioxide and heat, and this reaction is exothermic. And the equation we need to memorize is coke carbon plus oxygen reduces carbon dioxide, CO2 gas, and then carbon dioxide gas reacts once again with coke, which is carbon to reduce carbon monoxide, which is used as a reducing agent. And then step three, carbon monoxide, the reducing agent, extracts iron or reduce iron to reduce or to get iron, molten iron alone, plus carbon dioxide. 
and then this molten iron goes quickly down because it's more dense, it will be extracted from its exit. And then we still have the impurities. So for this reason, we use carbon, or sorry, we use calcium carbonate. So this is thermal decomposition because of the very high temperature within the furnace. Calcium carbonate is thermally decomposed into calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide gas. Calcium oxide now is used to react with silicon dioxide. Silicon dioxide, which is sand or the, the main impurity, mix it with a, a hematite. So remember guys, CaO, because Ca is a metal, so this is a basic oxide, and silicon oxide is an acidic oxide. So you know, basic oxide plus acidic oxide, they will produce salt, and actually, this uh, reaction is classified as a neutralization reaction. So we need to memorize that slag floats in the surface of the molten iron because the slag is lighter than molten iron, so it's less dense. So again, if we have this drawing, so if you have this is the first exit and this is another exit, so of course the more dense one will be down, which is the molten iron and take care of this exit at the left side so whatever the side doesn't matter here also we have this is the exit for the slag because it's lighter than or less than than the iron so you need to check which one is lighter which one is heavier and also overall you need to determine that all positions for and exits for everything here we have waste gases they are carbon dioxide and nitrogen gas so they can leave through this exit, so here we have the exit for carbon dioxide, CO2 gas plus nitrogen gas. And finally, remember these two openings for the hot air to start the reaction with coke. So actually, guys, you need to memorize every part of the drawing and also to know the reactions. So to sum up, guys, here we have all the reactions we studied. In this video so here we have this is again this is coke starts the reaction with uh, by combustion with oxygen to reduce carbon dioxide plus heat and then carbon dioxide reacts once again with coke to reduce carbon monoxide which will be used as a reducing agent and then carbon monoxide reduces iron ore which is hematite to reduce iron or molten iron also calcium carbonate is decomposed thermally to produce calcium oxide plus carbon dioxide. So calcium oxide can react with silicon dioxide, which is sand to produce calcium silicate or slag. So actually, again, if you need to make sure you understand the reactions and the risk revisions, so you can solve these two simple questions and you can type uh, down your answers below the video. Hopefully it was helpful. Thank you so much, you guys. Bye.